Dealing with acne sucks. Yep, I get them popping up on my chin. But actually, you could be making your acne worse. When your acne flares up, don't fall prey to these bad habits. All of our information comes from picky expert, dermatologist, Fun Skincare, who also provides expertise in our picky app. I'm Michael. And I'm Sarah. Stick around to the end because we're also gonna share some tips to help with your acne. Number one is picking pimples. And we know it's so tempting. When you see that big plump pimple on your face, it's so tempting to pick it off. And I've done it before, sadly. That was very but descriptive. you have to resist those little bumps and blemishes because if you touch them, it actually can lead to not only it getting worse, but reinfection and making it bad acne scars. Make sure, keep your hands off. So number two is piling on those products. So when you're dealing with breakouts, it's easy to fall into that habit of just throwing everything you can at it. But in this case, less is actually more. Give your skin a little bit of a break and don't just like throw a bunch of irritating ingredients at it. Your skin is going through a lot of the moment. The last thing you wanna do is kind of overwhelm it. And tip 2.5 is don't just throw also new products at it because mixing all that together can make it hard to kind of pinpoint what is actually causing the issue. Number three is don't stress about it because looking at yourself in the mirror and just thinking about it and trying to make it go away like that won't actually make it magically disappear. Stressing actually can make it even worse because it releases hormones that increases sebum production. And we all know that sebum is a catalyst for more and more acne. And I know by me saying don't stress out, it probably is making you even more stressed because we know that stress can cause acne. I feel like I do this a lot too. When I see my skin getting worse, I'm like, oh shoot, my skin looks bad. And then it just gets it worse and worse. Yeah. Just be kind to your skin. So number four is blaming your products. So this can be actually a bit tricky. So if you're using the same regular routine with the same product and you never noticed anything before, but suddenly you have breakouts, maybe the product isn't to blame. So when it comes to acne, it's multifactorial, meaning that there's a lot of things that contribute to creating acne. So instead of tossing all your products into the trash and blaming them right off the bat, take a moment and kind of just think it over. Trace back some of your steps of your own habits and your lifestyle changes. See if anything might be contributing, like, has my diet changed? Do I have any new lifestyle differences? Has there been a change in the environment or the weather? You could actually stumble on a reasonable cause. From there, you can adjust rather than just throwing away your skincare. Number five is too much spot treatment. So we know that a little can go a long way with spot treatments, but having more and more after that doesn't necessarily mean it will be better because there are ingredients like benzoyl peroxide and tea tree oil, which can create a really drying effect for your skin. So just don't overdo it. I think it's better to be limited because if you increase the amount, it can actually double up on some of those negative side effects, which can irritate your skin barrier and make things much worse than they were before. Personally made that bad habit mistake and my skin was so irritated. <laughs> so. <laughs> Take from my example, don't do that. <laughs> and number six is covering it up. So we all know that when we get those angry red bumps, we just wanna like cover it up and hide, which is easier to do these days with a mask. But makeup probably won't make it any better. So using makeup products and makeup applicators can actually increase the likelihood of cloth pores. So rather than covering up those pimples, just let them be. Be confident and let them breathe. Concentrate on healing rather than hiding. Except with a mask these days, you're hiding it anyway. <laughs> but also that's even better to not wear makeup when you're wearing a mask because you're constantly breathing, creating a great environment for bacteria to grow. So just let your skin be. So now that we have those bad habits in mind, let's think about some good habits, the positive side. We have some ingredient picks that might actually help to ease those acne concerns. So number one is salicylic acid, and this is the more common form of BHA. It helps to exfoliate and clear away dead skin cells that are in your pores, and it's oil soluble, meaning it can go deeper and clean deeper. And over time, it helps with that overall sebum production. So some of Vicky's product picks are Paula's Choice Skin Perfecting 2% BHA Liquid Exfoliant and The Ordinary's Salicylic Acid 2% Mask. These are both Super popular, I'm sure you've heard of them before. We have a ton of reviews for them in our Picky app. I've used the Paul's Choice one and it is 
very nice on my skin. Definitely recommend that one. So number two is retinoids. So this ingredient can be a bit intimidating for skincare newbies. So we recommend learning more about it first and starting very, very slow with a very low dosage. Retinoids can help accelerate your skin cell turnover rate, which helps shed the top layer of skin, meaning less clogged pores. If you want to learn more about retinoids, we have a lot of articles about it. We even have a cheat sheet to help. So definitely check out our picky blog to get a lot of skincare science information. And we also have product picks as well. So maybe you can find a new product to try out. So some of our favorites, uh, for those just starting out, maybe go with the Ordinary Grand Active Retinol 2% Emulsion. I've actually recommended this to my friends who are just starting out with retinoids and not really sure where to start. And for those maybe more familiar and like used to retinoids, maybe try the Drunk Elephant A Passioni Retinol Cream. That one I have heard a lot about. I'm curious, but I haven't tried it yet. Number three is T tree tree oil <laughs> when given in concentrations of 2.5 percent to 5 percent this plant oil has proven to be beneficial to acne prone skin types its antibacterial and anti-inflammatory properties only help to heal your skin and help it recover so picky's product picks are dr jart's tea treatment cleansing foam and access why artichoke intensive skin barrier ampule. Mm. Artichoke. Mm. I didn't know that was good for the skin. Yeah, I thought it was only good in pizza. <laughs> <laughs> I've never had it on pizza. <laughs> so number four is Centella Asiatica. So we've discussed this one actually before. If you want to check out that video, you can look here maybe. <laughs> <laughs> you can check it out if you haven't seen it already. But to sum it up, Centella Asiatica is an antioxidant rich powerhouse plant extract with numerous soothing and healing properties. So it's a great way to kind of tame those like post breakout hyperpigmentation and just soothe your skin overall. So our Centella picks are Perito's Centella Unscented Serum and Skin 1004 is Madagascar Centella Asiatica Ampoule. We hope you enjoyed this video and learned some new things about your skincare. So don't forget to check out the Picky app where we actually have a mega search filter where you can search by concern, which you could do acne, or you can search by ingredient, which you can use any of the ingredients we just mentioned. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell if you want to see more skincare science videos. And stay picky about your skincare. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye. Bye. Number one is pin. <laughs> cover it Be with happy. Mask. <laughs> and cover it with, with five masks, and then you'll be good. Trust me, below all those masks, everyone has acne right now. <laughs> you can cut that part out, but it's true. <laughs>